All right, so uh, here's our second go. The only leak I've got in this whole system now is this brand new pump we've put on here, which is probably why it was uh, thrown out that um, I grabbed from work. And uh, yes, it has a leak. So we'll have to find a different one. I have a few laying around in cars, laying around the paddock. Um, pulse width modulator, and we're using for our speed controller control the level of the water. Uh, much the same setup as before, except at the back we now have a big reservoir tank as well. And uh, this pump keeps the uh, water circulating so it heats up both evenly. Sounds like we've got some crunchy bits in there. Um, the reservoir at the back has a flip top lid old uh, cereal container my wife was using. I asked if I could borrow it. That was no problem. I just didn't tell her I was going to drill holes in it. So uh, let's hope she doesn't find out about that. We have um, up the top at the back you can see now um, our gas outlet which is here. You'll also see just above this fitting here I've put a baffle in there to try and stop the bubbles and that and the water splashing up and going out the gas pipe uh, which is hooked up over there you'll see our candle going there um, we're getting a good amount of gas coming out of there definitely enough to run a small engine and uh, the thing is you've got to let the system run for a while first to purge out all the air Otherwise, I did it again. Yes, it went bang. Um, and that's when I put the candle in front of the tube. The mixture was too lean. Had enough oxygen to flash back up in the tube. But, um, as per design, our little flip lid here just popped open like that. And no problem. So, um, that's uh, what happened there. If I let a bit of gas go through before I put the candle in front of the nozzle, no problem at all. So we'll have a look at the gas flow a bit later on. Um, our little motor here is getting awfully hot. I can see smoke coming out of it. I think the motor she's fried. Alright, so we're going to get ourselves a screwdriver. I dare say that's why that motor was given the big heave ho. I'm going to disconnect the power from my pulse width modulator. We'll give it a run without it, see how we go. Alright, time to fire it up. predicted it's going to go out of the gas outlet because now I've got no way of keeping the uh, flow down so I might drain a bit out of the back tank come back and uh, we'll see some uh, fire out the other end okay we'll give her um, a little flame test here let's have a look at the uh, gas we're getting out at the other end
and um, the hotter the water gets in the container, the much easier it maintains an arc. So um, there's a whole lot of gas coming out of there. That's more than enough to run a small engine, I would say, Grum. Um, have another geezer at this U-boot thing here. Give her another run for you. Copious amounts of gas there, and um, it heats the water up quite quick. All up there is uh, six, uh, 5.2 litres, and um, we're going to start taking some temperature measurements as well. But uh, the gas, now the gas has a very horrible smell when you're not burning it. Um, it smells like rotten egg gas. Not very nice, but um, when you burn it, there's no smell at all, of course. So, um, there you have it. Loads of gas, and um, the hotter the water is getting, the more stable the arc. I am at 60 amps on my welder at the moment, uh, which seems to be uh, quite enough. In fact, we might turn her up a bit and give her a run. So, uh, hang, hang in there, and we'll go and do that. Okay, so um, we're going to try 80 amps, see how we go. Oh, there's a lot more gas. Blowtorch going here now. <laughs> Check this out.
we go. We just blew our candle out. Um, we switched her off because she's getting pretty warm now. Need to fit in a cooler and everything to it. And uh, we have a nice black mix in there now. Now what I've done while I had it apart making the mods, I uh, glued a uh, strong neo magnet to the rubber in the centre of this tub. And uh, we're going to see if we're making any type of iron, um, some form of metallic stuff that'll stick to the magnet. Of course the carbon won't and the water doesn't, uh, pure rain water. So uh, there was no metal in it and uh, we're going to wait for that to settle, drain it and see if we have anything stuck to the magnet. Alright, thanks for watching. Um, at this point in time I would say a big success, no power measurements of course, but um, like I said there's definitely enough gas there to run a small engine and um, quite easy to produce and using very little of the carbon rods, which is a good thing. Okay, we'll see you next video and uh, chats on the forum. Cheers guys.